Hello and welcome to ULABO. My name is Alex and today I will show you how easy it is to connect an external application to your Dyneo circulators. Dyneo units have an integrated connection for an external PT100 temperature sensor. This makes it the perfect match for a glass reactor application. In this case, we connect the Dyneo to the primary circuit of a glass reactor, which then temperature controls a specific reaction. Let's have a look at the Dyneo. First of all, you have to switch off the Dyneo and disconnect it from the mains voltage. You don't need to drain the bath if it's filled already. On the back of the Dyneo, you will find two connections that are closed with a collar nut. One is labeled output, the other is labeled input. Both indicate the flow direction of the fluid. To connect the reactor tubes, simply loosen the two nuts with a wrench and connect them with a maximum torque of 3 nanometers to the Dyneo. The output is always connected to the lower connection of the reactor or external recipient and the input to the upper connection. In this way, possible air in the system will be able to escape correctly. To ensure the best system performance, we offer special insulated tubing in various lengths. Please make sure not to bend the tubing too much and always keep the specified bending radius in mind. For a more convenient connection, we also offer different elbow fittings. Pro tip. For really smooth connections, you can additionally use an anti-sea spray or paste. Finally, don't forget to connect the external temperature sensor like this PT100. Among your lava's portfolio of accessories, you can find many options for PT100 sensors. I hope this short tutorial was helpful for you. If you need more details or if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at any time. Thank you and see you soon.